Hi, my name is Janet Draper. I'm the horticulturist for the Mary Livingston Ripley Garden. And this morning we have a we have quite the show that is drawing people in. This is an, an Aristolochia grandiflora. Uh, it's known as a Dutchman's pipe, and it's massive, and it's very, very meaty. Uh, this thing is a tropical. It hails from Brazil, but in Brazil, it would grow along the ground and scramble up into the trees, and it's pollinated by things that like dead and dying plant material, things like beetles and flies and things like that. Thus, it looks dark and brooding, and I wish you could smell it because it's, it's putting off an odor, well, unpleasant is is a nice way to put it um, the dark eye zone is basically a neon sign saying eat at Joe's diner for the flies and so the flies would enter in here and then start traveling back through this cavern so our fly is starting in here and this is where I think it gets really cool because mother nature wants to be sure the fly makes it all the way to the top where the pollen is. So there are little hairs along the throat here, very much like a parking garage where you can pull your car in but you can't back out because your tires will be slashed. Mother nature is doing this with the flies. So the fly can come in and then, oh, there, a couple of flies are interested. Uh, the. Uh, the fly starts up and then he's trapped. He cannot turn around. So he's forced to continue on up into this cavern bit. By now he's probably getting a little freaked out looking for the exit and ends up all the way at the very top. Well, that's where he's supposed to get to because that's where the sexual bits are. That's where the pollen is. The whole purpose of this entire flower is to get the pollinator up to the top to transfer the pollen. So now that he's up there, he's searching for the escape hatch, brushing into everything, probably eats a little bit of pollen too because, you know, by now he's covered with it. And he realizes, ah, oh, it tastes pretty good and he calms down. But in the process, Mother Nature, there's something in this flower that is triggered that knows that pollen has been released. And you know those hairs on the throat? Those hairs will relax to allow our pollinator to turn around and walk right back out of this flower and go to the next flower because he's had that tasty treat and is, is enticed to go, go through this process all again. Pretty cool.